Game on. Weekdays from 7 on 2FM. That thing about the bus is probably the most laughable thing I've ever heard in my life. We were 15 minutes late. Now, Joe Schmidt didn't specifically blame that on the result, but he said it twice before, after the match initially and then with the journalists in the press conference afterwards. If grown professionals cannot adapt to 15-minute delay, and that's an excuse, even, even mentioning it implies that it is an excuse, that is a joke. They're, they're singing for seven or eight and they've no interest in it there in songs and everything beforehand. Sake. I don't understand. I was surprised they came out with it. Why did he actually, mention it? Why, that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't understand it. We were 15 minutes late and you're telling me 15 minutes late and you can't adapt? Yeah. They're not robots here, actually, are they? I are they actually that like one-minded that, that they can't I adapt would, to a 15-minute change in the time really, I was so disappointed with them, Hugh, because the one thing we've kind of seen under the Schmidt era is how organised they are and how ready to go no matter what the game, what the situation. i never seen them as underprepared and, and it was almost as if, especially to try the line at one, which we'd see at schoolboy level. Was that the, the second try or the third yeah, try? Yeah, no, third try, Dunbar, yeah. And, and it was like as if they didn't know what was happening. i never seen them so not ready literally for the Six Nations ah, and we all knew Scotland obviously crazy. were being hyped up and being talked up and that they were going to really come at us and to be not ready for the onslaught I thought was just the first half was just a non-event it was dreadful Scottish number 12 in the line out was a symptom of having too much reliance on the system i.e. no one thinks outside the box in any event watching the line out numbers is a matter for the scrum half I totally agree with that it just seemed like they were completely paralysed by what they always do and if anybody changes it slightly you have to look around and react you know what reminded me of last year against Wales exactly the yeah. same thing they tried to hammer through Wales and they had no plan B that's the coach I mean like Scotland's best players are their back three Stuart mm. Hogg one of the quickest fullbacks in the game stood out wide and Ireland thought they could stop the ball getting to him they thought they could stop the ball getting I, to their yeah. best players yeah well here's another text uh, Patrick says Donald is right but you lot are on the same planet as the rest of us so you RT so-called experts would prefer to have Vern Cotter coach I just hope Joe is not listening to your pure rubbish we are a fantastic side and more than likely to win the championship well that's rubbish we're not more than likely to win the championship because we're beaten by Scotland and also beaten by Argentina hammered by Argentina in the World Cup finished third in last year's Six Nations Championship a very narrow game plan when it all looks great we beat New Zealand in Chicago when they were all probably half jarred from the night before we're not a brilliant side we had like and nothing suggests that we you know I just don't accept that listen if you're, they're full time paid professionals paid very well take it on the chin suck it up and get on with it and yeah. show us what no, they're when, you, the when you spell time. it That's out it. like that Hugh they're the stats they're the stats the well, stats don't lie and I just think the hype around the Irish rugby team is, is ridiculous I, I, like, you know yes they are a, a good side um, are they a great side not yet and until they go and prove it you know Saturday was plus just plus they were missing their best player Hugh well, world no, class no player. Johnny Sexton no Jared Payne was massive but, but all they, the but things even, even at that even at yeah. that like they probably still could have and should have won the game and, mm. and they did because of a load of different reasons. Game on. Weekdays from 7 on 2FM.